leaf okay parts of leaf right <laughs> generally leaf is laterally green flat and expanded structure in a plant leaf is laterally expanded and green flat and like structure is known as the leaf generally leaves are formed on the stem at the nodes leaves are formed on the so leaves are originated from at which place on the stem at the nodes so what is that bit so it means leaves are arise at the nodes on the stem right next each leaf having that axil i am also explained before to you what is the meaning of axil the upper angle between the leaf and stem is known as that axil the upper angle between the leaf and stem the upper angle the upper angle between leaf and stem is known as that axil then axil axil producing so what is that axillary bud right so this axillary bud producing what is that branch generally right after then so in the parts of leaf mainly leaf having mainly three parts so what is that first one is the leaf base first one is the leaf base leaf base after that petiole third one is leaf lamina leaf lamina or leaf blade leaf blade so first when leaf is attached to that stem at node by the base that is known as the leaf base right leaf base means leaf is attached to the stem at nodes by the base that is known as a leaf base generally leaf base are two types okay for example in some plants leaf base is the pulvinous for example in fabaceae family in fabaceae family leaf base is swollen just like that swollen right so swollen this is swollen leaf base is known as a swollen leaf base swollen leaf base is known as that pulvinous pulvinous leaf base right it is important bit appear in that fabaceae fabaceae means for example you take one example bean so that is known as a pulvinous leaf base after that in some plants for example you take that in grass plants for example in grass plants right so leaf base is expanded just sheath like structure for example it is the stem okay so it is a stem leaf base it is a leaf base this leaf base is completely or incompletely covered the stem just like the sheath like structure so that is known as sheathing leaf base that is known as that a sheathing leaf base so this sheathing leaf base are appear in which plants it is at objective generally in grasses in grasses sheathing leaf base is present so that is known as a leaf base after that leaf base okay leaf is attached to that leaf base by the stalk like structure so this stalk like structure is known as a petiole for example so you observe that so it is a leaf base so it is a leaf lamina so both are connected by that uh, stalk like structure so then you observe that this is one right so this stalk like structure is known as that uh, petiole okay so this petiole is it means long thin okay so slender like uh, stalk like structure is known as the petiole what is the petiole to that leaf right so it means <coughs> when it, it is uh, so this lamina is exposed to the sunlight 
by the presence of stalk like structure that is the petiole it means you observe that so it is a petiole due to the presence of petiole this leaf is exposed to the sunlight it is a first function second function so this leaves are okay allot to that wind fluttering to the wind it means when they are uh, exposed to that air then air is enter to the lamina then leaf temperature is become cool when fresh air is okay so comes to that leaf surface so when that uh, petiole is uh, it means fluttering it means swinging fluttering means what is the meaning swinging so uh, when that uh, it means leaves are where due to the presence of petiole leaves are okay, it means so it means undergoes to that fluttering fluttering means swinging to that air then leaf temperature is become cool it means temperature is decrease that is the second function so two functions are performed by that petiole after that leaf lamina okay this leaf lamina is so it means end part of that petiole is known as the leaf lamina or a leaf blade so it is expanded green structure it is mainly involved in a photosynthesis process right and exchange of gases also right so this leaf lamina having that so veins so this uh, veins are act as a transporters of channels these are the veins it is that midrib it is known as that uh, midrib or vein so these are that uh, lateral veins lateral veins so this midrib and lateral veins so they are involved in uh, it means uh, transport they are act as the channels for transport of food materials and water minerals in the plant so in a plant for example so veins and uh, mid veins and lateral veins this all the veins are act as uh, channels for transport of uh, food and uh, water and minerals right due to the presence of uh, veins so leaf lamina having rigidity it means stiffness to the leaf this this veins provide a definite shape to that uh, lamina so these are that uh, leaves and leaf lamina after that <coughs> so leaf apex this is a leaf apex so leaf apex and leaf its surface is that uh, different type depend upon the types of leaves for example in uh, in some leaves they are that wavy like structures just like that uh, wavy like uh, leaf lamina it is that uh, surface and leaf apex is that uh, spinous it means sharp like structures so they are that uh, different different type of shape of leaves different margin of leaf and uh, leaf apex is also different depend upon that uh, species of uh, plant right so these are that uh, parts of leaves generally leaves are produced from that uh, one important bit uh, so what are that they are produced from that uh, apical shoot system apical shoot meristem okay leaves are produced from apical meristem it is a important bit uh, right so these are that parts of leaf totally so an introduction part of the leaf